For this example, I'm going to start with some small numbers that appear in our number line, and we're just going to multiply them in binary. So if I start with something really simple like 5 times 3, I should get 15 out, and you can see what the binary value is for 15 there. But we'll work through this in binary. So 1 times 1 gives me 1. 1 times 0 gives me 0. 1 times 1 gives me 1. Again, basically any time I see a 1 in a 1 down here, I'm just going to copy down whatever the top number is. So I've got a 1, so 1, 0, 1. And I just have to make sure it's lined up with this bit. Now I go through, I do the addition. 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 0 plus 1 is 1. And I can look over, I can see that yes, that is indeed 15 in binary. If I try something else like 4 times 2, I might have... So I should expect to get 8 out. So I have 0 times anything is 0. So I'll just have a 0 in that place. And then 1 times anything is the anything. So I'll write down the anything. And I don't even have any addition to do this time. I can just look over and see that that is 8 in binary. If I do something like 3 times 3, 1 times anything is the anything, and then 1 times anything is the anything. Now I'll add these up. 1 plus 1 is 10. So I get 1001, which is 9 in binary. If I do 5 times 2, then 0 times anything is 0. 1 times anything is the anything, so, and I get 10 in binary.